Hey guys, welcome back. It's time. We have an update. We have an update on the PSA. I guess the shenanigans that went on with a PSA employee who was making his own custom cards. The problem with those custom cards uh, is the fact that, well, I guess it's kind of weird that they're being graded, uh, that they're being authenticated. Uh, this is because they're being authenticated by the authenticator or, you know, one of his people that worked with him, on him, with him, underneath him, somewhere around him authenticating his cards that were sort of this homemade whack job a little a makeshift thing that was going on where he would take the he was also working with the artist so he was taking the shipping labels essentially uh shipping documents and uh, trimming those up cutting those up and then pairing it with some sick nasty pokemon artwork uh, in order to create his own uh, custom uh, signature card uh which i mean probably wouldn't even have ended up being a, ba a big deal of any kind if it wasn't for the fact that he was he was selling them. He was trying to make money off of them. The artist didn't like that. The artist did not know what was going on. It was it's pretty shady. I'd be pretty upset if uh if I was that particular Pokemon artist. They got kind of uh it's 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 pretty disrespectful. Uh especially someone that's working with these artists at events or organizing signature events and stuff like that. You would think you would know better. But anyway, we have the update. We had and then we had a statement by PSA saying, Hey, we're actively making something right. We're doing it, we're 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 making it up to the artist. They didn't. They didn't reach out to the artist at that point in time. Hopefully they do. Hopefully there's a, a an update video for that in the future. But there's there's a whole lot of like sketchy, weird stuff. And it all leads into why would you grade that as a grading company? Why would you allow someone to send in counterfeit cards, uh, bootleg cards, counterfeit cards, unlicensed cards, uh, just because they're signed? I, I don't think... I, I, I Personally, I don't see the gain in it for them. I think it's it, it's pretty embarrassing the PSA would grade anything of the sort, whether it's altered, whether it's trimmed, whether it's anything like that. It, just, it says cut on it or it says card on it instead of saying some actual information about an actual trading card. Just just don't just don't authenticate it. Then people will stop going and getting that stuff signed. Uh, the, like the sheer, the, the low volume amount of stuff. I would, I would probably, I, it wouldn't surprise me if that PSA employee had submit more of those cards than anyone else or everyone else combined. So it was it was kind of a little loophole. It was a little tricky dicky loophole where uh, he was making some sad some sad money on top of his um, PSA uh, salary and or wages. I'm not sure how he was paid. Doesn't really matter. Regardless, shouldn't have happened. But now we have a little bit of an issue here where people that have sent in their cards, their their autographed Pokemon cards, uh, and are just just hoping to get them back, hoping to see an update, are not seeing any updates. So I don't know if how much that one individual was uh, absolutely authenticating everything, whether or not he authenticated his own cards, whether it was someone else. But it seems like it's all come to a halt. So we got to speculate here a little bit uh was it because he was doing all of it was it because he overlooked everyone else was it because other people were involved and got in trouble and now there's just no one there to authenticate anything uh i'm gonna assume that this doesn't mean anything to do or isn't gonna impact sports in any way i guess we saw something similar to this where uh with the the old steve from bbce with the uh, pack grading, the Pokemon pack grading, I don't think sh Steve should be doing anything for anyone. I don't think anyone should should want to be associated with, even if it's hidden and kind of behind the scenes. Uh, I, I personally, if if I had a grading company, I know, uh, yeah, it'll be a cold day in hell when Rattle has his own grading company. But if I had one, if somebody, okay, so clearly, it's it's not if someone messes up, it's if someone has the intention to deceive to do something shady whether it's to put your baseball player wrap on something that you said that you wouldn't you wouldn't authenticate a single box but you have it in a cardboard box and you're going to do that you probably got a big payout you probably got a motorcycle or something uh and and all of a sudden you'll do it so like just if someone's shady like that they shouldn't be touching any i don't give a shit how many baseball cards and packs he's stuck up his butt you don't, you just don't, know. why would you ever want him to be doing any of that for you? And and then there's the argument, like, who else is going to do it? Who's going to do it, Rattle? Who, who's the next BBCE? Who's the honest one that isn't taking motorcycles? Who, who are we going to hire? Who's going to do the job? I don't know. 
maybe had to pay more money. Uh, you definitely have to pay a lot of money for expertise in the hobby. No one's going to be 100%. I'm not expecting someone to be perfect. But if, they, if, if they're blatantly ripping people off, if they're taking bribes, if they're whatever the hell you want to call this, chopping stuff up, you probably want to find somebody else. Now, it might cost you a lot of money. I know grading companies do not like to pay a lot of money. They would rather have their minimum wage sorry, not quite minimum wage, slightly above minimum wage, slightly above McDonald's wage employees just shoveling through cards as fast as possible. But that's the thing too. There's got to be some kind of happy medium where you're paying enough that you get the expertise that you actually need. Uh, no, I don't expect anyone that's like an, an actual expert. And that's why I say, guys, make sure you know the stuff yourself. You cannot rely on the grading company to authenticate something. You can't rely on the grading company to grade something properly because guess what? The person that's working there is not making much money. They don't give a shit. Uh, and as long as they're not getting in trouble because the grades are so far off that you can complain and the grading company has to do something, they're, they're just going to go on their way. They're going to keep doing what they're doing. That's why you end up sending stuff in multiple times. Uh, and again, at that point, do you think the grading companies really give a shit? They get to charge you multiple times for the same card that you keep resubmitting so that you get the grade that it deserves or maybe a grade that it doesn't deserve, but it's better than what it deserves. Regardless, here we go. We got the post here that says, I figured I'd make a post here since this seems relevant and might help someone before wasting their time. It seems like PSA has not been authenticating any Pokemon card autographs since their head authenticator has been let go, most likely due to the cut signature authentication debacle. So I'll have links to those videos down below if you haven't watched those and you want to watch those. I would suggest you do. Uh, and even, what, again, collect what you want. Grade cards if you want to grade cards for your collection. Grade cards if you think that it's worth it for you and makes it easier and or you can make more money reselling the stuff. If it works for you, great. Personally, I don't see the value in it, but many people do. So uh, make sure you're learning about all this stuff. Not None of the grading companies are perfect. Some are worse than others. Some have done some very sketchy shit. Some have worked with some... Some are still working with some very sketchy people. So just be be careful. Inform yourself about the grading company. Um, and just know that there is shadiness going on everywhere. Everywhere you look. Previous, 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 currently, in the future, it'll happen. When there's money involved with stuff, there's going to be some some sketchy shit going down. So he says, uh, my whole submission was inconclusive and they were mainly just Harada signatures. So I didn't know. Hmm, I didn't realize they, they were sending stuff back inconclusive. So uh, that's the thing too. If if this stuff is tied up and you send it express or you send it some sort of like value package this sh and they have to find somebody to replace the person or anything like that. Now, this might be a coincidence. It might just be inconclusive because they don't know. Um, and whether or not that has anything to do with the person that got fired. Uh, who knows? I've talked to numerous people and they all said the same thing, that their submission also all came back inconclusive, even common autographs like recent Arita autos. One person even showed me the letter he received that he would be refunded but not compensated for this large inconvenience. I haven't seen the paperwork, but you would think that if you, if you can prove that you were at a certain location, that you can show the receipt that, that you got something signed by the artist, anything like that, you would think that would be like... I would think that would... Personally, I think that's more important than it being in a case and someone saying, yeah, that's authentic. Uh, you got to be careful. There's a lot of those like auto pen nonsense signature robots and uh, and I'm sure there's lots of people that can fake this stuff. I'm sure it's been faked many times. I'm sure there's been plenty of counterfeit autographs that are that been graded by all of the grading companies. It's just, it's going to happen uh, again. Like the amount of expertise that would go into um, actually identifying I mean, short of the fact that someone has receipts and like, here's him signing it. Here's a photo of him signing it. Here's me um, pulling my pants down while they're signing my card. If they have all the evidence there, if they have the receipts there, that makes sense. That's pretty easy to do. You can kind of match it up. Does it look like the signature is a legitimate one? Um, but uh, but other than that, uh, again, uh, that's one of those things. It's also with all the personalizations. I don't understand why anyone would want a, a, a wiped card. I don't know anyone... It doesn't. Does anyone want the, like white cards? Like the weird, uh, like under not great 
pretenses or ones that say like to trainer or like to Charizard. Like it just, it feels dirty to me. Like I personally wouldn't want to own any of that stuff. Um, I don't know. The, a lot of these, a lot of these Pokemon artists, uh, the ones that the signatures that are getting authenticated and everything else, like I, I get it. Maybe not everyone can make it to an event, but especially with the Arita stuff, like, man, he's, he's been at so many events. Like surely there's got to be something that will be remotely close to you if you really want that and you're paying the extra to go get to have somebody else have one and authenticate it. You would think that um, it would probably be around the same price and the experience difference is, is night and day. Another user wasn't so lucky since he submitted a couple cards through a middleman and did not receive a refund. Oh no. Yeah, that would suck. A few other user confirmed that the head authenticator was fired. Hopefully they hire someone new soon, but many people seemed irritated and mad as there has been no public response about this. TLDR hold off on sending PSA for auto authentication. So that's the thing too. Just if if they need to delay it, if they're like, hey, we're, we need a month. We, we don't know when it's going to be. Maybe it'll be a month. We'll update you when we know. Do you want us to hold your cards here? Or would you like them to send us? We can refund you, send them back, refund the, the, the shipping cost. Uh, and we'll open it back up or they shouldn't like probably just not be accepting submissions whatsoever again i don't know what the exact story is here but it seems like um the most ridiculous of ridiculous so uh we got we got Pratt who says that's disappointing there are multiple people here who could do that job and not cut out signatures that's uh, that is true and I, I mean that's the thing are they gonna pay anyone that's here are they going to pay any of these people enough to do that? Maybe. I mean, maybe in that position, maybe maybe that's uh, that's one that allows for a little bit more, I guess, uh, garnishing. Not garnishing. Gar no, what's the opposite of garnish? A higher wage? Higher wage. Higher wage, not garnish. Garnish is when they, like, remove it. All right, we're learning. But regardless here, we have a little bit of uh, confusion going on. There's a lot of people that are saying, hey, what's the problem? There's such a problem with this. There's a lot of stuff like, okay, so the, you see the comparison. You know damn well someone's going to make the comparison. They're like, oh, yeah, but look at look at all the, the cutout Abraham Lincoln autographs. Well, it, that's a little bit different. And unfortunately, old Abe is not with us uh, at this current time, and he can't just go, he can't sign your T-shirt. So a little bit different if 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 it's something that like it's, um, I mean some I don't know there may, there's probably a cool down where you shouldn't be like, taking signatures of of the dead and and ripping them off of documents and turning them into trading cards and stuff like that, um, or any sort of signed memorabilia. Uh, it, it's too soon, too soon. Not for Ape. He, I guess he's been gone long enough that it, maybe that makes sense. It's still weird to me to have like chopped up documents put onto stuff, but to each their own. I mean, people want to collect different stuff. There's a lot of people in here. Uh, so a, a little reminder that uh, essentially the, the, a, a Pokemon artist is not allowed to be paid directly uh, for their signature. So they can be paid an appearance fee. They can be paid for being at an event. So that's where you have these people, um, one of which was the, the one that was chopping the stuff up, uh, that are running these events that will accept money um, in order to pay the artist to show up, do signings, all of that sort of thing. So it, it's, it, it puts, I don't know what the restriction is. I don't know if there's an exact answer to how to make this better for the artist is like to let them charge maybe maybe let them charge a set amount and then they can sign as much stuff as they want uh and and not and still not be like taking away from like i don't know if if pokemon feels like they're gonna miss out on revenue or something like that if if these artists but but then if if they're able to charge for this stuff uh if they have maybe like if they have a appeal box or something that they receive cards take them, send them back, whatever, set up some kind of service like that uh, on their own to make some extra money. I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, is it prob probably less likely to be exploited, but at this point in time, if you got to jump through a bunch of hoops to get the autographs, you're going to have the G-ballers that are, that are wiping, that are reselling this stuff when they shouldn't, that are getting two trainer and then immediately flipping it on eBay, which some of them, uh, I, I mean, th that in itself is... is they'll find it disrespectful but also the fact that i think i think the worst part is the fact that the artist is not making the money it's just some dude that 
uh, doesn't want to get a nine to five that's going to Pokemon events, getting stuff signed and, and flip dipping it. But again, I don't know what the exact answer is, but uh, this is not it. I don't know uh, what it is. The people that like just have some common sense. Don't cut stuff up. Don't like if you're doing like surely, surely this person knew that it was gonna it was gonna upset the artist had they found out about it. Maybe they didn't think that they would ever find out about it. Maybe they didn't think they were doing anything wrong to begin with or at all. But I can I kind of think they would have to. Surely they they knew it, at least deep down a little bit just a tad they must have had a, a gut feeling like hey i probably shouldn't be doing this but who knows let me know what you think though let me know why you aren't in the discord join the discord see you next time bye